Hello everyone, so in today's video, I have a bit of a how-to video. So, not only have I had this issue for quite some time now with the, um, this Xbox controller, but, um, a lot of people have been having issues where either the left or the right bumpers aren't responsive enough. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can actually fix it. It's really not that hard to do. You're only going to need a, like a knife and then you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. This is the only flathead I have. So these are this is pretty much all you need. And to start off, I would recommend just taking these off here. Just like that. I'm going to pause the video cuz it's going to be a little bit difficult to do with one hand. Cuz I don't have like a stand or anything for my phone, so I'm going to pause the video and then we'll be right back. Actually, as a matter of fact, um, what I would recommend is taking the knife. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do with one hand. Hold on. Let me set my phone down just for a second here. Ooh. I don't want to. I've done this before, though. But I'm trying to make a how-to video and it just doesn't want to budge why now all of a sudden huh and this actually worked for me um i tried like a different couple ways of to fixing it but you'll see in a second all right, i think i got it so you want to put the knife at an angle to where you can see like the edge here in the d-pad and then you want to take your flat head and you kind of want to just Dig it under. So you can hear that little clip. And as you can see, bam. So, I'm going to keep going until I fully disassemble it. Well, not, ah, I just turned it on. That That's not good. I can't get it. Okay, whatever. If it's not going to turn off, I can't really do anything about it. I got it. Yeah, it turned off. Okay. This is so weird. It's been a while since I've made a how-to video. How long has it been? A couple months, actually. Wait, no. Using the knife would be, like, the best option to get it to unclick. That, no. Wait, ooh, wait. Got it, okay. Oh, perfect. And you just kind of want to keep going around, like, as you can see, I pop, like, this more out. And then I'm going to make my way over to this side. So, um, I'm going to leave a, a timestamp on screen now. To show you what time I actually have it fully disassembled. If you want to skip to it. And you already know how to fully disassemble it. So I'll leave that on the screen. You guys need to skip to it. And yeah. Nah. Maybe if I use the screwdriver this time. Why did my stomach just growl at me? I just got back from the gym too. It's what? Almost 10 o'clock. Ooh. Okay. Come on. I've been going to the gym recently, which is actually pretty good. I didn't go yesterday because it was closed. It's always closed on Fridays. And I have literally no idea why. A lot of people like going on Fridays. But me and my brother decided to go early this morning. Oh my. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to clip it off more. And just like that. We're almost done, guys. Just stick around just a little bit longer. If you already know how to fully disassemble it, I, like I said, I left the timestamp up so you can skip. It'll also be in the description if you missed it and you want to skip and you don't feel like going back to the where when I said it. It'll also be in the time will be in the description. Oh my goodness gracious! Sometimes it can be a little bit stubborn, whether you're on your first or your second. 
attempt to take it apart because on my first attempt taking this apart it was real I got I was scared actually I was actually really scared I thought I was I thought I was breaking it no you're just taking the shell off really you're just taking the top plate off which doesn't really affect it at all all right so it's gonna be like a little bit sticky as you can see I finally got it off It'll be a little bit sticky. Just you're not gonna pull anything off. Just slightly pull. If you gotta use force, use force. And then here you go. So this is it. So now what you're gonna wanna do is whether it's your right or your left, you're gonna as as you can see, you can see these little things here. Let me actually grab another tool that we're gonna need. Okay, so. Here's another little tool we're gonna need. We're gonna need tweezers. Um, if it's happening on both, take, you see this little circle thing here? You're gonna wanna get your nail underneath it and once you hear a little, <sighs> I want my camera to focus and it's kinda hard to do this. All right, hold on. Ah, got it, okay. See how I just pulled it all up? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tweezers and you're going to pull this little thing out here. You can get it from whatever angle you please. And sometimes you want to get it really skinny. So, and there you go. And then you're going to want to do the other side as well. As you can see, you can hear the little click. Pull it out. And then now, what you're going to do. I did not. Okay, no, no, no. I got it. All right. What you want to do is you're going to want to, you're going to want to blow air out of these little pockets here, these little pockets where they were, you're going to blow into air into them. So you can use suppressed air or a can of air, or you just use your breath, like just blow into it. And then you're going to want to make sure you have whichever one was the right one. Now, I don't need to flip flop them because I already did. And it worked for me. So this one right here was in here. And then this one was in here. Let me actually show you guys which one was in what before I flip flopped them. So this one right here, which is the original left, was in here. This one, which is the original right, was in here. What you want to do is you want to take the one that was in the right and then flip flop it with this one. You're going to want to flip flop them. This way, it creates even pressure, and it's good to go. So then, as you can see, you're going to want to take your tweezers. This was the one that I flip-flopped from the right to the left. You're going to want to grab it with your tweezers, and then just put it in like this. And make sure it's in there, just like that. Make sure it's, like, all the way down, and make sure you can push it down just like that. And then right here, this little circle thing, you want to grab it from right here and bam. Perfect. And then you want to take the other one here. Let me grab it. Got to be extra careful sometimes. And then and then you just push it down with your finger. And as you can see, it's in, in place. You snap that back on. And as you can see, they're both secured in place. And then all you do is you take your, hold on. If you see these little cords, don't worry about it. They're fine. They're, they're, they're not going to get cut unless you purposely cut them. And then as you can see, let me snap it back on into place. Here are all those little snaps. You want to go around a couple times to make sure that you are putting it all back in place. And then bam. And as you can see, and then you put exactly where you had your original buttons and bam now it should be fixed it works for me all the time so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video uh make sure to like and subscribe comment if this helped and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace out